Hi there and welcome back to my channel. Today I am starting a new series on makeup and it's called Drugstore Dupes. For many years I have heard of drugstore dupes for high-end products that are half off or even less that are essentially the same products and the same formula. So in this series I'm going to be comparing products that are considered dupes of products that I already have in my collection that I use on a regular basis and trying out the drugstore dupe to compare and see which one is better and if it is really a duplicate product. For each product, I'm going to compare it in four different categories. Packaging, which really I know is fluff and doesn't really mean anything, but I know we all try products just because of the packaging, so I felt like I needed to include it. Second is application. Not all products are created equal when you're applying them. Third is formula. I'm going to be comparing side by side the actual formula to see if there is any difference. Number four will be performance. So I'll be trying out the products and telling you how they perform compared to each other. The first product that I'm comparing is Benefits the Professional, which has been a staple in my makeup routine for probably four or five years, and I'm going to be comparing it to NYX's Pore Filler. So let's start with price. NYX's Pore Filler is 0.67 fluid ounces. It is $13.99 at Ulta. I had no coupons or discounts on this. The Professional is 0.75 fluid ounces. This I did pick up at Ulta. It is $31 without any coupons or discounts. Okay, first let's talk about the packaging. So looking at the packaging, I think that there is a clear winner. I think that it benefits the professional. The colors, the little girl on the front is definitely a little bit more attractive than a plain white bottle that says NYX's pore filler. Would I pay $16 more for the better packaging? Honestly, yes, because I'd want to try it. So the winner when it comes to packaging is definitely benefits the professional. For this comparison, I used NYX's pore filler on my face for two days. Today, however, to test them side by side, on this side of my face, I'm using NYX's pore filler, and on this side, I'm using benefits the professional. Okay, the next category is application which is going to kind of transition into formula for this test. So Benefits the Professional comes out in the squeeze tube quite easily. This one's almost empty, I'm sorry. Comes out quite easily and rubs in nice and smoothly. So I like the way it applies. I feel like it's easy to get out of the tube even when the tube is almost empty. The one thing that I don't like about NYX's pore filler is when it comes out, it almost feels like the product is dry because it comes out, well it came out kind of nice there, but when it comes out, can you see that? It is like a piece, it looks like, like a hot dog, like it is, it is so solid I can like move it around. Can you see that? So I don't necessarily like that it is like a solid um, when it's supposed to kind of be creamy, but as soon as you start, let's see if you can see what I'm doing here, but it is like, it's kind of thick. And it is, once you rub it in, it's fine, but I don't like that it comes out so thick. So when it comes to application, I think the winner is benefits the professional. Next, let's talk about formula. And I think it kind of goes back to the application. I do not like how NYX's pore filler comes out of the tube. I much prefer the professional. But when it comes to application, I think that NYX's pore filler, the fact that it is a little bit drier, I do like the way it goes on a little bit better. I feel like the professional is kind of slick as it goes on. Um, it doesn't feel like it's actually kind of absorbing into your face. I think that it has to dry a little bit before you can put your makeup on, which is fine. But when you're using NYX's pore filler, I think because it is drier when it's coming out, it seems drier as it's going on your face. And I'm not saying drier like it's going to dry your skin out. I just think that it's not as greasy, maybe. And I hate to even say that because I don't feel like even... The professional is greasy. 
but it's just not as slick so it goes onto your skin a little bit easier and smoother so when it comes to formula I think the clear winner is NYX's pore filler. And the final category is performance. This one was a tough one for me to decide and really it wasn't until I did the side-by-side -side comparison that I realized that I had a clear winner, which was actually quite surprising to me. Both of them do a fabulous job in filling your pores. In fact, I don't really see any difference between the two sides. I don't think that either side is showing pores. I think they actually do the same job of filling your pores and I have to say that I think NYX's pore filler actually does a little bit better job of filling the pores and actually keeping your face a little more matte. And I didn't realize how much I really enjoyed that until I did the comparison because even right now when I'm feeling my face and where I applied it, the side that I put Benefits the Professional on does feel a little more slick and it does feel a little bit more greasy or oily if you will where NYX's pore filler just feels much more smoother and because I can't really tell a difference in the job that it did in filling my pores so I have to say in performance the clear winner is NYX's pore filler. In the four categories that I just talked about the professional by benefit one and two of the categories packaging which is kind of a fluff category to be honest with you and application because I really didn't like how dry NYX's pore filler was when it came out NYX's pore filler won in formula and performance so I think when I'm comparing the two products which one is my favorite also somewhat taking into consideration the price I guess I didn't realize that I actually paid $31 for the professional until I looked it up before I filmed this video, so that was a little bit shocking to me. But the winner is NYX's Pore Filler. I absolutely from now on will be purchasing this instead of the professional, which was very shocking to me. I do have this one and I actually have a travel size one and I have another one that's half used in my makeup drawer as well. So. I will continue to use this up and I'm actually going to try to reach for it more than this one right now even though I love this one. I am going to try to use these up. This video was so much fun for me to film. It was so much fun for me to do the research before I film the video to kind of compare the two. So I think that this series will be good for me to find new products, maybe save a little bit of money on products that I'm using over and over again. Um, yeah, so it was just a lot of fun. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below what you think. If you've tried NYX's Pore Filler, if you've tried The Professional, what you think about the products, or if there's another dupe out there, I would love to hear what that is. And maybe I can film another video where I'm sharing that dupe in comparison to these two as well. I would love for you to subscribe below. I post videos every Tuesday and Friday. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.